What's going on, Cats fans? It's Ben Reeve here again from The Hoop Show. Now, if you've watched the last couple of videos about uh, potential captains for, for 2023, what did you, did you think? Am I way off? I've gone with Tom Stewart. Now, my second pick was probably Tom Hawkins. Uh, now, my third pick, on, and this the subject of this video, is Paddy Dangerfield. So we're going to talk a little bit about Paddy. Now, with the other videos, we've looked at five categories or five criteria, uh, and that's from experience, age, media performance, uh, health, and leadership. Maybe they slightly jumbled the order up there, but that's okay. So, Paddy Dangerfield, his experience, a bit like Tom Hawkins, you can't really fault the man, can you? He's played, what has he played, 303 games now, uh, 15 seasons at the Cats, well, not at the Cats, in the AFL. Uh, a couple of, game, couple of games with the Crows, but we'll forget about that. He's a Geelong boy, um, and he'll always will be. He's a Geelong Premiership player now. Uh, yeah, 15 seasons in the comp. What a champ, what a star. Uh, he'll probably play 350 games maybe if he goes on next year and he says reasonably fit through this period. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. You can't fault him in terms of experience. In terms of his age, though, look, oh, sorry, Paddy, I've given you a 4 out of 10 on that one. Uh, you're turning 33 in April. Probably getting to that point where you're getting a little long in the tooth. Uh, not so much. I think you've still got maybe one or two years in the comp left to go. Um but is that going to be enough, especially if you start to get these old man injuries a little bit and you're maybe not out on the park as much as we'd like you to be? I'd love you there for uh, 45, 50 games over that two-year period. I just don't see it happening. Um, I love what you do uh, when you do step into the role as captain. Like you, Generally, I think he's been wearing the vice-captaincy hat the whole time and occasionally when Selwood's been away, he's stepped up and done all that. So he's done really good uh, in Selwood's absence. Um, but I don't know. Look, I'm not sure. Um, I think he's... Uh, I think his leadership's pretty good. I think when he's out in the field, uh, the players look up to him, and he, and he, by sheer force of will, uh, he throws himself around in, into packs and bursts away from packs and does all that real tough stuff. Um, you want him to kick a captain's goal sometimes. I don't think he's going to kick too many captain's goals in front of the sticks, even though he's great in the finals. And good on you, Paddy. We needed you to kick straight there. You did uh, for the most part. So he's fantastic there. But look, leadership, I've given him uh, an 8 out of 10. I think he's pretty good there. He's got a premiership on his resume as well now. So you can't really fault him in that area. His media performance, 10 out of 10. You can't knock the bloke. He's on radio. He's on TV. Um, he's in all forms. I think he's even on a YouTube podcast as well. So he's, he's everywhere. And he's the AFL um, players, president, the prez. So he's everywhere. Uh, he's he's a natural at it. He's fantastic at it. He doesn't mind doing it as well. Um, so can't fault him in that regard whatsoever. But in terms of his health, uh, he really hasn't played a lot. Uh, you want him to play 50, 60 games in the last two years. He's played 34. Uh, some, some of those I think he's missed through his, his injuries and some yeah, suspension possibly in the last two years as well. Um, I would have liked to see him play a little bit more than that. Do I think he's going to play more than 34 games in the next two years? I don't think he will. I, I think he'll play around about that again, maybe even a little bit less. I don't know. So, look, in terms of a score out of 50 for Paddy, uh, close to the score I gave him for Tommy Hawkins, I've given Paddy Dangerfield a 37. Again, it's a score higher than my pick, uh, than Tom Stewart, which I had. What did I have Tom Stewart as? I think it was uh, 35. I think they're still going to go with Tom Stewart just because of his age. Uh, he's at that really sort of sweet Goldilocks spot uh, where I think they're going to go for him. And I think Paddy might have just left the run a little bit too late. If if Selwood maybe had a retired a year or two ago, yeah, fair enough. But then you might have made the argument, well, has he been at Geelong long enough? Is there other more Geelong people that should be doing this? And Tom Hawkins is maybe maybe the one in that regard. So, don't know. Look, Paddy. But I think uh, I wouldn't be surprised and I wouldn't be upset, I should say, if Paddy got the job. Uh, I think he'd be uh, good at the role. Uh, he clearly wants it. He's sort of dropping some hints. Um, that they're looking for a captain for now, uh, possibly to win another premiership this year. But we'll see. What do you think, though? What did you think? Did uh, Have I got this right? Um, make sure you check out the other videos. Let me know in the comments. Don't forget to like and subscribe and all that. And we'll see you on the next one. Go Cats!